This is Twit. We're going to uh, cut away to uh, the uh, Falcon Heavy test launch uh, because we're about five minutes out. Uh, there's the picture from SpaceX. Uh, we'll edit this out of the final version of Mac Break Weekly because it'll be old news. Why but, isn't there a Lego bottle of that rocket? See, it's not, not, it's already creating ground contrails, <laughs> as if we don't know what it's up to. <laughs> uh, right there at the top, the first production automobile in space, the uh, cherry red, uh, Elon Musk's cherry red Roadster, that which is the first Tesla based on the uh, Lotus Elise model. Yeah. Uh, somebody yeah. said they took the batteries out. I bet they didn't, though, because it will be playing... David Bowie's space oddity in a loop over and over again. There's this astronaut dummy in the driver's seat as it uh, heads out of Earth orbit and I guess on to Mars, right? It's going to continue on to Mars and then... Yep, it's going to be... Uh, they're trying to put it into boats. orbit. Let's, let's see if it works. Yeah. Now, uh, Elon said, uh, as I mentioned earlier in an interview, that he thought there was about two out of three chances it wouldn't blow up. And then he <laughs> downgraded. He said, well... Okay, if I'm really honest, it's about 50-50. <laughs> so there is at least some chance of it just, what, what What would it do? Would it just blow up or would it blow up and, I mean, there's nobody in this. We should point out there's no life right. at stake. It can't implode as far as we know. That's good news. <laughs> but as, as you understand, with that much fuel in it, there's three, uh, what is it, two engines, three engines? It's a three-engine uh, yeah, rocket. Not, there, that's a giant bomb. And also, as if it does anything to deviate from what it's expected to do, they will remotely destroy it. Well, that's the challenge so. of three engines is each one has to be calibrated so perfectly that no one engine has more thrust than any other. Otherwise, it would, you know, tilt to the left, tilt to the right. 27 total engines, three, three, uh, three stages, 27 engines. All right, we're going to let you, uh, we got two minutes to launch. We're going to let you uh, listen to the... Uh, uh, audio from SpaceX, and you hear, yeah, a crowd. Now, the crowd's more than a mile away, I would guess, right? There's nobody there. Yeah, it sounds like an iPhone launch, not a rocket launch. <laughs> this is the uh, most powerful uh, rocket ever made, although um doesn't have as much lift as the Saturn V. But uh, here, here it's not lift as much as speed that they yeah. want to get out of Earth orbit and into... Uh, uh, Mars. So, so this is this is this has commercial applications well beyond going to Mars. But of course, that's one of the things that Elon wants to do. Yeah, especially when they go into crewed missions uh, from NASA and the International Space Commission in the next in the next uh, five years. They're they're going to they're going to have to put a lot of stuff into orbit. You hear the chat cheers from the crowd <laughs> as the uh, command issues the goes bit by bit falcon heavy is on internal power this reminds me so much of the launches i watched as a kid of apollo and gemini and so exciting you space space shuttle. Shuttle. ground gas close has started so the winds have, have died down falcon which is good gas loads are complete Elon says if it explodes fuel bleed complete. high enough above Cave Canaveral so it doesn't damage the launch pad, he calls that a success. Yeah. Well, I'm glad people get to see this. I mean, rocket launches, they're, they're, you forget how many rockets yeah, yeah, yeah. NASA blew up before their first successful ones on each platform. That's right. That's right. So the, en the uh, engine startup has begun. Stage two, pressing for flight. Wow. <laughs> Forget taking the day off after the Super Bowl. I'm taking the day off after this. <laughs> this one, everybody wins. <laughs> T-minus 30 seconds. Launch director on countdown one. SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. E minus 15, stand by for terminal count. And nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, Holy cow. three. Two. Elon Musk has to be just so excited. And the gantry's away. And it's in the air. 
Holy cow. Wish they quiet down. I can't hear the rocket. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Magoli. Yep. Has to get pretty far away from the pad to avoid damage, but I think it's done that at this point. Now one kilometer in the air. I would say that's a successful uh, launch. Keyfoss 30 seconds. If you can hear me over the cheering, Duck and Heavy heading to space on our test flight. Building on the history of Saturn V Apollo, returning pad 39A to interplanetary mission. We're getting ready to throttle down to an X2. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, right. They, 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 were launch, they were launching from an old Apollo pad. It's Cape Canaveral, right? Yeah. Is it the same pad Apollo 11 launched from? I thought it was. 37A, I think. 37A. You've heard the call out. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. What's Max Q, Andy? Basically, the most pressure is going to experience during the launch. So if there's anything that's going to stress to fail, this is a good time for it to happen. We're past Max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes. Those booster into engines flight. come back to Earth, and those are the ones that land amazingly on those GMC pads. The trajectory <laughs> looks good on the Falcon Heavy. We'll see separation in those bottom cameras. It's looking pretty good by now. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Nominal's good, by the way. <laughs> Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. I think we're going back to space, kids. <laughs> Major event coming up with side booster shutdown and separation. Inside shutdown. Side boosters. Deco. There it goes. I love the crowd. Yep. I don't remember anything like that in the Apollo launches. Yep. They got it now. Now the only question is whether they actually inserted it into orbit. So yeah, this is pretty damn exciting. Successful separation. We're coming up on Miko and shutdown. So now you're down to essentially one engine cluster, so you can't have it. It won't be torn apart by three competing engines. So. Two million people watching the SpaceX live stream right now. That's how much interest there is. That's phenomenal. Look how that reddens as it heats. Wow. Coming up on fairing separation. Central core side engines. On fire, also look good. Watching the SpaceX live feed. Here comes David Bowie. These, these curves also ex explain how the rock could never make that jump to that spot. And there, oh, okay. Is that the actual <laughs> image of the uh, Tesla in uh, space? I, think. I think it is. Don't it's, panic. That's, in, that's gotta be inside. On this on this on the screen. A little damage to that camera, like it looks like. Arab Emirates, where they have like a virtual inside that you think you're outside. Yeah. <laughs> but they're more excited about being on YouTube. <laughs> Don't We're on YouTube! <laughs> Hi mom, I'm on streaming. <laughs> you have YouTube. I don't know about you, but this is yeah, really yes. exciting. Really exciting. <laughs> well, this is this is why wow. I'm not impatient about. Wow. Well, hey, let's. See that. that was awesome. That's the only thing I can. <laughs> really that's say absolutely right now. wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> I, I got nothing else. So I, we won't hang with this till uh, orbital insertion. Yeah. I think that's going to take a while. But uh, is it? 
We're, should we hang with it? State of the landings. Okay, we're going to watch it land on the uh, platforms in the, in the ocean. First two are on land, and then the third is on, a, on an ocean platform. <laughs> John is John is our space expert. He's feeding me uh, feeding me the facts here. I'm glad I bought a Tesla. That's all I can say. <laughs> if that helped in any way. Center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship, and in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Holy cow! Yeah, uh, this is phenomenal. Of course, this is something yep. NASA never attempted to recover uh, these boosters, but it's what makes this more economical. And as Elon well, they, uh, is, will be they, quick they, to point out, none of this would happen without taxpayer dollars having built these launching pads and supporting this. It's it's a private space, but it's but it's a lot of it comes from the support yeah. of NASA and the taxpayers. So of course the shuttle they, they recover the boosters, but the, the landing in the ocean was not quite so pinpoint and precise. <laughs> That's right. There, the boosters there was, were... some, there was some rehab to do on those <laughs> on them after they recovered That's, them. I, absolutely right. I forgot about that in the shuttle they did recover those. But so. this is this is the this is also a victory for NASA's like long range plans. Long ago they decided that we can either d develop and build everything ourselves, or we can help private industry right. <laughs> compete and, and against, it, compete against each other. I'm not I'm not I'm not a Ayn Rand sort of <laughs> make everybody compete against themselves and fight for no. <laughs> fight this for is survival. good for everybody. And by the way, not just everybody in America, but this is good for the world. This is huge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was I was, was going to say this is why I'm not impatient to see like flashy moon landings or anything like that. This stuff excites me. The idea that we every time we take a step uh, take a step forward and it's not a, it, it can't be taken away from us. Right. This is the stuff that will keep us in space for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So it's launched its engine for a soft landing. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though look at that. That's the center core coming down and that one's coming to sea. Those are actually representing different boosters. Turned around. It's breaking. They're about to begin. BR8K on three. It's, yeah, it's not breaking. In fact, it looks pretty darn good. <laughs> it's a BR8K But it's got to stick that landing. I mean, imagine how hard that is. But he's done it. They've done it time and time again. Despite early failures, they've been pretty consistent. Uh, oh, I guess it's coming in on land. And that landing burn has started. Look at There's the two platforms. Look at that. This is like uh, choreographed. Look at that. Unbelievable. Okay, that is just amazing. It's almost no like a big deal. Oh my God, they're coordinated. <laughs> oh my God. Perfect. I got to say, it was kind of juvenile to have them both land on top of and crush Nissan Leafs as they touched down. <laughs> <laughs> that is so amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, is one of them tilting a little bit? Here comes the C platform. When it approaches the drone ship and the heavy vibrations make it lose signal. There's nobody on that ship, as you can guess from the name. It's a drone ship. It's a little, little smoky out there. So it looks like that landing is happening at the moment. We have lost signal. Oh, no signal. picture. Uh, we're hoping that signal comes wow. back shortly. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Nine <laughs> minutes into the Michael flight. And did you love those two boosters sticking that landing exactly... <laughs> synchronized <laughs> it was unbelievable that's that's flash that's that's showmanship <laughs> unbelievable <clears throat> is that this simulation isn't too bad is it elon all right so it doesn't look like they're going to get the picture of the uh, of the landing on the drone platform but very very nicely done very nicely done anything anybody who says anything bad about elon musk is going to have to fight me now that is that is that <laughs> british is pugilism style yeah <laughs> wow wow uh i'm i think we live in amazing times don't we yep. yep uh continuing on with mac break week i don't know what to say now i continue on with mac break week <laughs> let's, week. Yeah, let's we, talk more about let's, let's talk about more about money and gadgets <laughs> we can land our own rockets we because now, right now, now. now everything seems as significant as the same thing we're talking Andy about andy and earlier. i both Look arrived on shot. monitors next to you here's uh here's uh is this uh, these live shots from the so that, that rocket booster is off now. 
10 minutes into the flight. Right now, live views coming down from low Earth orbit. The second stage successfully got there, and it got there as the culmination of a great Falcon Heavy test flight. We lit 27 engines, throttled the boosters up and down. We separated engines. the side <laughs> boosters. They came back spectacular simultaneous landing. The center core did its job. The second stage did it. Everything that you could want in a test flight, we got here. Now we're just looking for the icing on the cape to find out what happened on the drone ship. But all in all, an outstanding test flight for Falcon Heavy. Wow, what an absolutely momentous occasion. Uh, thank you so much to the rain. And for those of you who saying Elon Musk is just trying overcompensating, <laughs> the heck with you. <laughs> wow. Your move, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, his company, uh, Blue Origin, is also doing some amazing yeah. stuff. I mean, we we really we live in uh, uh, a time of uh, some interesting giants uh, walking. Until you see us. the Facebook rocket, Leo. <laughs> Social graph in yeah. the moon, baby.